Pleasant good evening everyone, a pleasant good evening. Once again, welcome back to Nita's channel. Once again, welcome back. Okay, I know it has been a couple of days since I posted a video, an update. Well, tonight, the topic that I want to touch base with you guys is going to be abusive relationship. So the topic tonight is talking about abusive relationship or abuse in your relationship now we need to have this discussion so as you're listening to this clip you can comment we can talk to the comment section drop your views and so forth inside the comment section and again like i said my channel is all about godly stuff, personal stuff in my life, fun stuff, but everything is basically mutual, mutual. nothing inside on this channel is going to be obscene or with no type of profanity or whatever. This channel is a full, clean, exciting channel, godly channel. You can come here to relax your mind if you need to listen to some encouraging words if you need to hear some positive stuff if you need to smile on a daily basis you just need something uplifting to listen to something cheerful to listen to something fun to listen to right here on this channel right here on this channel is where you should be now if you're listening to this clip and you haven't subscribed yet to this channel there's a red notification button it should be red. There's a button that says subscribe. Just hit that button for me and subscribe to this channel. It's a wonderful channel. You'll get to know more and more about me. Yes, I'm here from the 242, the Bahamas. So you'll get to know, like I say, more and more about me. My journey with Christ. I'll teach you some biblical insight as I learn, you learn. And again, we socialize in the comment section. You can drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Now, tonight we're going to talk about abusive relationship. Abusive relationships. Now, many, everyone basically has been in a relationship. If you are over age. Everyone has been in a relationship or have been in a relationship. Now, being in a relationship with someone, you share your personal space with them. You share your emotional state with them. When you need comfort or you're down and out or lonely, you share that information with your partner. Yes, when we need spiritual, spiritual comfort, we go to our Heavenly Father. He comforts us in every area. And even God himself created man, human in his own image. And just so that he can satisfy us, he created a man. And he created a woman. And the word of God decreed and declares that those two flesh should become one. So everyone should be in that state of marriage or getting getting to that state to get married. But we still have persons that are in a relationship. They have they're taking their time as to where as they're trying to get to know their partner before they make that decision to say, okay, I want him to be my lifetime partner. I want her to be my lifetime partner. Now, abuse in relationship, you have to get to know people for themselves as to who they are. And you just talking to a person doesn't mean you know everything about that person. Getting to know a person in an intimate way, in a way whereas you are in a relationship where you both share views, that's when you, that's when you get to know 
who a person truly is. Because now you're spending more time with them and they are spending more time with you. You understand? So you go in to begin to learn habits, stuff that they like to do. They're going to learn habits, stuff that you like to do. So they're going to learn things that you like, things that you dislike, stuff that makes you upset. Things that don't make you upset, stuff that make you smile, stuff that make you happy. They're going to learn these things about you, okay? Now, like I say, we are talking about abuse in relationship or abusive relationship. It is okay to be in a relationship and argue. No relationship is perfect. Arguments is a normal day-to-day thing that happens in everyone day-to-day life arguments yes me and you may disagree that's fine okay everyone is entitled to their own opinion you're in a relationship you may not agree with whatever your partners say but at the end of the day you too must be mature enough and civilized enough to have that conversation in a grown-up way that does not lead to any physical abuse mental abuse emotional abuse no type of abuse okay if one party gets upset and they decide to walk in another room to calm themselves down that's fine allow them to do that but in a relationship even though one party may be upset the other party finds a way to comfort that party after they are be have been upset but if you're in a relationship whereas arguments happen and your partner, when he is upset, he rages at you or tries to put his hands on you or put his hands on you. Then that's an alarm. That's an alarm in a relationship. Being in a relationship, if you claim that you love your partner, it should never lead to physical abuse no type of abuse physical abuse verbal abuse all are bad using profanity at your partner isn't good because everyone has an emotional state and words are really words are really um is this is a word i'm looking for words are really cutting it's sharp and it's cutting Words are very sharp. You have to be careful what you say because, again, your words become your actions. If you begin to speak something so much and the word of God tells us the power of life and death is in the tongue, you got to be careful what you say or what you speak over your relationship or over your partner. You have to be careful. So abuse, uh, verbal abuse is just as bad as physical abuse but if you're in a relationship that is a physical abuse that can harm you that can harm your actual body if you have a partner that's beating on you whether it's a man that's beating on his significant other who is a woman or whether it's a woman beating on her significant other who is a man yes vice versa you have some women that beat on men and you have men that beat on women. All are wrong because no one should be abused in any way. So physical abuse is horrible, is terrible. And being in a relationship and saying that you love someone and they are abusing you physically, that's not a relationship to be in. That's not a relationship to be in and that's not a love. How can you love someone and you tear them to pieces physically, physically and verbally? But the physical state is worse because then again, you're beating on my body. You're be- beating on a human being that God has created and destined destined in this world to be somebody. So if you have somebody that's beating on you in your relationship, that is keys and grounds to remove yourself. To remove yourself. No abuse is good. Okay? Because things start off small. He may hit you once and you don't think it as anything. And then when you look next, he may punch you. You understand? 
then you, who knows he may use you later on as a punching bag any relationship that has physical abuse is no relationship to be in any relationship that is overrated in verbal abuse is no relationship to be in either okay you have so many persons that are in relationships and are indeed hiding under hiding under a veil or a covering of abuse but they feel as if their partner is their only form of income whereas the partner is the one paying the bills or what's not so they don't want to leave or they have three four five kids with this person and he's beating you up you feel as if you don't want to leave but listen to this if you are in a relationship before marriage and your partner is physically abusing you that's an alarm there and that should be head way for you to not get married make me understand how can you marry someone after they have been abusing you for years okay it makes no sense to me you have your kids there and your children are watching your partner physically abuse you verbally abuse you all of these things affect not just you but your kids your kids as well when they see this and why i'm touch basing on this because there's a lot of people that are in abusive relationship and feel the need that they have to stay in that relationship because the partner is the one that is providing you got to understand that the lord that god is our provider is our provider there's no need for you to be in a relationship is if it is abusive it's time for the men and women of this world today to lay that mantle down lay that mantle down lay that mantle down and walk away from abuse walk away from abuse abusive relationship will only hinder you because you will find yourself depressed so many times you will find yourself not able to accomplish things that you desire to do because you are underneath a hindrance that you don't want to let go of because you're feeling as if they are providing this they are providing that but they are hurting you they are hurting you physically and mentally abusive relationship is no relationship to be in i want to share a story with you guys about a colleague of mine and it's one thing you would not know what people are going through because many person don't share what they're going through and many people does not look like what they have been through i have a coworker a colleague we have been colleagues for almost 5 years now colleagues and watching her watching my coworker on a daily basis she's bubbly bubbly and so forth she doesn't show any any type of sign to say okay that she's in a abusive relationship or what's not we don't we wouldn't know if she was in a abusive relationship or not you know she have two kids now she have two kids now and i'm not trying to make this so this so aware so you can know who i'm talking about i don't want you guys to know exactly who i'm talking about but yes she have two kids now but we as coworkers we laugh when we talk about a lot of things on day to day basic and she is now married and i remember when we all would talk about oh child we so on ready to get married child marriage we all were speaking marriage and existing for our lives for the ones that aren't married yet because they have colleagues that are married and she was one of my colleagues who were not married at the time and now she's married not too long married you know and you would not look at her as a person to say that 
she is in an abusive relationship. I would have never thought that she was in an abusive relationship. It was in this year, 2021, that me and my other colleagues found out that she was in an abusive relationship. And when I said found out, is not found out from word of mouth. People telling you, oh, she in an abusive relationship over here. Say, it was a visual, a visual contact that my colleagues saw. One morning, her husband was dropping her to work. I guess he dropped her to work, then came back to work to see her. And they were on the outside having a communication. Uh, the communication led into physical contact. And the things that he did to her was alarming. I was not to work that day. My colleagues filled me in. My colleagues filled me in. My colleagues filled me in on... My colleagues filled me in on to what happened. My colleagues filled me in on to what happened. And they were like, she's pregnant now. She have two kids presently. She have two kids presently. She has two kids presently. Her daughter and her son. Her son is actually the oldest. Her daughter, she just had him. She just had her last year. So she's still young. She's about one. And she's pregnant now. And we would have teased, not teased her, but we always used to be like clowning on her and telling her, saying, hey, you pregnant again? You just had baby last year and you pregnant again? And she would always tell us she's not pregnant. But until this altercation, physical contact with her and her husband happened this year, he was physically abusing her and they were saying how he was dragging her, dragging her on the ground and he ripped her clothes to pieces. But at the same time they said he was doing those things, he was saying to them, She's pregnant. He was saying to them, she's pregnant, she's pregnant. But how can you say that your wife is pregnant and you're physically abusing her, you're dragging her on the ground, ripping her clothes to pieces? What type of love is that? When my colleague were saying that to me and just describing to me as what had happened, I felt so bad. I felt bad. Tears were literally ready to come from my eyes. I felt that because when you build a bond with certain people or with your colleagues, your work is your home away from home. And being around my colleagues, we are comfortable working together. We are comfortable working together and we care about one another. We care about one another. We're not going to stand there and watch someone take advantage of one of our colleagues. No, it's not like that. The environment that we work underneath, we look out for one another. And we do our best to stay far away from conflict or to cause conflict between us. And just hearing that it was so sad, so sad. And you should hear me. I was like, what? If I was there... Man, even though as small as I am, I would have tried, try make something happen. I said, he would have tried to see me. But then I said, child, you can't let the devil fool you. You go getting into people's business and then you're the one getting in trouble whilst they still there. And they said after all of that happened, double, she was saying, call the police, call the police. And I don't know what exactly made him laugh but something made him laugh he left and they said she came inside to work and as she came inside they said she didn't even act like anything happened to her they had to give her a change of clothes a change of top because her shirt was terrible but listen to me how can a man 
beat a woman in the front of everyone who is your wife and who is carrying in a child for you how could you literally drag someone on the ground and say that you love them and plus that person that you married you love who's actually carrying your child now you're doing that thing to them that's type of abuse no type of abuse is allowed i don't care if you are married that right there is grounds for dismissal for dismissal for you to go and get a divorce any type of abusive relationship is not tolerated and we were upset over it and we thought that hey maybe she would have distanced herself from him but they are back together and then again we understand you cannot get a husband and wife quarrel but you cannot be in a relationship where the man physically abusing you like that you're carrying his child and he's physically abusing you he can kill you yes marriage is for better and for worse but is it not for you to beat me to pieces or beat your mate to pieces and then say for better or for worse females and males it is time for you to stand up for what is right it is time to get out of abusive relationship whether you are indeed married with your spouse or you are single but in a relationship and your partner is abusive these are times for you to get out of these abusive relationship because these abusive relationship can lead to mental problems or can actually lead to death so if you are in a abusive relationship it's time to get out of abusive relationship out okay abusive relationship is time to get out of abusive relationship so i just wanted to share this little talk pep talk with you guys to say that if you are in a abusive relationship there's no talking matter to say okay let's try work it out no it's no talking matter get out of that relationship if it's abusive get out of that relationship everyone thanks for tuning in have a blessed and wonderful night